Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Thursday, September 6, 2018. I'm Camden from Ms. Whitney's class. And I'm Noah from Ms. Noel's class. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now, it's, now here's PTO for some Bok Tops news. Good morning, Trailblazers. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Good morning, Trailblazers. I'm here to help you find out how your family can um, help your school with products that you already have. Have you ever noticed? Can you point out to the box top? These on your cereal? This is a box top. Ta da! We can collect these, send them in, and earn money for DeSoto Trail. In your folders this week, we hold up those two. You can put this here with them. In your folders this week, you got these two forms. This one is one of the many ways that you can gather and send in your box tops. Can you hear me? Okay. And then this one explains the contest that we're running to see which class can turn in the most box tops by the end of the month. That class is going to be eligible for a special treat and, dun, 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 as box tops champions, you will get to display the box tops trophy. There are some things that you need to know. First thing is that these things are not only found on your cereal and granola bars. These are on hundreds of different items, including non-food items like Ziploc bags and Lysol wipes. You can go to their website for a complete product list. Another thing to know, it doesn't have to be perfect. They have this cute little rectangle. It's okay if a little bit outside of that is still there. But there is a code and there is an expiration date and you have to be able to see both of those. Speaking of expiration dates, these things do expire, so don't wait. Turn these in as soon as you can. You can use that form. You can send them in, in a bag and an envelope. And everything that you guys send in, we appreciate because that helps your school. Thanks so much. Let's go to Ms. Gruber, our school counselor, for a few announcements. stuff Sorry. Live it's okay TV. yep live TV well good morning trailblazers happy Thursday my only announcement is I wonder who the stars are today so I'm looking forward we had some some more nominations come in so they're in there all right here we go Pick one. Alex from mrs. Whitley's class come on down Ford from mrs. Whitley's class Let's get the pink one. Natalie from Mrs. Noel's class. And last but not least, Arabella from Mrs. South's class. Come on down, guys. You're my stars for today, and I'll be waiting for you. Back over to the news team. Today's lunch is turkey and gravy with cornbread, whole grain turkey hot dog, or chef salads with whole grain roll. Side items include barbecue, baked beans, or black-eyed peas. Fruit is also available. Now let's go back to no. Now let's go to Miss Keltner and Doctor Poole for a few announcements. Good, Good morning, morning Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy, Happy Thursday. Another human day out there. Or it's going to be yes. a hot one again. It's it like in the is. middle of summer. It's coming back. I know, but you know, it's kind of <laughs> nice just to see all the boys and girls. I, I really would like for it to get drier mm -hmm. so that they can get out on the playground in the mornings. But that's true. My babies are get not able to play out. in the sand. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's the time of the year that we're in. Yeah. Well, we're going to kick it off this morning because we have celebrations. And we are celebrating three birthdays, and it's Bennett Dodgerill. Jillian Doyle and Jeremy Sanders. Come on down to the front office because we're celebrating with you. Happy birthday. Yeah. And then as we he head over to Happy Mrs. Birthday. Alexander's classroom, we're celebrating with Riley Perwinski, who has mastered his oh. multiplication extra math facts. They have Way to go. Ms. Alexander's class has been knocking They're working hard. Yep. And I want to let you know that this morning, 
They make sure that I always remember. This morning, you had quite a few stars. Okay. We call them stars, stars. Because they received stars this morning. Every student that had a book and was reading. Wonderful. On the bus. That so rolling on the read bus. That rolling read. You've got to come back there and see them. Get on the bus and just see them raise their books. And the bus drivers are confirming. They have their books at the bus stop when he picks them up. And they get on the bus and they sit, buckle up, awesome. following the rules. But uh, Trailblazers, I am just ecstatic. Good. I love the fact that They're you are doing reading, such a great job. Reading. Now, a couple of reminders. Those of you, I sent out an email in reference to the clocks. We, I, <laughs> yes, the clocks. I experienced one of them yesterday. It was just <laughs> going around. So what I'm, this is my last call, uh, teachers. Please send me your name if you're cl you're having clock issues and let me explain why because we only have one person that deals with uh repairing the clocks or setting the clocks if the, in the whole district in the whole in district person, that's yeah. right so when the person comes if your name is not on the list there's a good possibility you're going to be skipped so then we got to put in another work order wait a long time because it's more than us in the district that's having clock problems so please 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 i received another one this morning that reported their clocks is you know having problems with it so go ahead and send me those out because we want to put that work order in as well kindergartners uh, uh, teachers i want to remind you that i will see you for about the first five minutes of your uh, planning today to just finish up a couple of things that we didn't get to on uh, yesterday and last but not least we have a couple Lots of items, items here yep. Now, this one I do believe belongs to um, Stevenson Coogan, but I'm not sure who this one belongs to. A so sea World water bottle? Yeah, it's a Sea World water bottle. Yeah, there it is right there on both sides. So I'm going to take these back, these items back to the front office, and if they belong to you, if you would, please come right up and retrieve them. Thank you. I want to give our students at Car Pickup a quick reminder. Uh, siblings, bro brothers and sisters, brothers and brothers, brothers, sisters and sisters, mm -hmm. you need to sit together. So mom, dad, grandma, whoever's picking you up only has to stop in that car line once. We're trying to get as many cars as we can through, right. and it really helps when siblings sit together when we call the name. So please do that today. And I think because we have so many kindergartners right. that might have older brothers and sisters I'm gonna allow those kindergartners to go sit with the older siblings from now on mm -hmm. because it's too much for the older siblings to come down where the kindergarten area is so older brothers and sisters please get your younger brothers and sisters and bring them to you in the car pickup line also I need you all to scoot back and sit on the benches as close as you can um, to that one side of car pickup so people can be walking up and down and getting to the yes. car some of you like to scoot out a little bit and mm -hmm. spread out but I need you back on the benches as much as possible and please be listening for your names our uh, line is actually going pretty quickly we're getting everybody yeah. picked up by 315 there might be a few more kids um, by 320 but you all are doing a good job. Just need to tighten that up a little bit to make that process even more efficient. Tonight we have uh, first, first grade eight. curriculum night. Mm -hmm. Fourth grade's curriculum night went very Came well last night. Yes. Congratulations, ladies. Mm -hmm. And that starts at 6 o'clock tonight with first grade. We also have Miss Howard's baby shower this afternoon. So we'll oh, see you in the media, media center right after school. All right, back to the news team. Let's go back to Miss Gruber for a few recognitions. Here they are, shining stars today. Who has S? Okay, Natalie. Stay safe. Who has T? Okay, four. Take charge of your learning. How about A? Alex. Act responsibly. And R, Arabella. Respect. There we go. All right. Arabella, what does your slip say today? I picked up the Legos. During recess. And who nominated you? Miss Al. How responsible of you. Alex, how about yours? I'm always participating during lesson. Very, very take charge of your learning of you. And who nominated you? Miss Wh Miss Whitley. Very nice. Okay, Natalie, how about yours? I removed the frog from the classroom to save the elders. Ooh, nice. Very stay safe of you. And who nominated you? Miss Noel. Very nice. And Ford. Walk, walking hard to bring up my Aogo. Nice job taking charge of that learning. And who nominated you? Miss Whitley. Very nice, Miss Whitley. Okay, Alex. Starbuck for the school store when you can come shopping with us. And you know what to do. Find them. Give them a great big pat on the back and a high five. 
because they're your awesome students for today. Back over to the news team. Our cheers to 30 years word for the week is humble. Not thinking of yourself as better people than other people. <coughs> Modest. Being humble means knowing you're not perfect. Are we ready? Mm. That's, That's it, it for today's, today's edition of WDTS. WDTS. Cheers to 30 years, Trailblazers. Remember, no grit, no pearl. Bye. Bye.